Namibia is half desert, half ocean. It is known for its impressive desert landscapes. Independence in 1990 marked the end of centuries of colonialism in Africa. Sam Nujoma, who led the country to independence, is known as the father of Namibia. In 1966, the Southwest African People's Organization, which he led, was beginning to participate in anti-colonialism activism. The colonists' harsh repression forced Sam Nujoma to go into exile for 29 years. During this time, he went to China several times. Where Chairman Mao Zedong said that when the enemy attack, you retreat. When the enemy retire, you attack. So this is what we use here against the enemy. We have fighters who started at the beginning of the war up to the end. On September 14, 1989, after 29 years in exile, Sam Nujoma finally returned to his homeland. When he stepped off the plane and finally set foot on Namibian soil, he knelt and kissed the ground. We, we arrived at the airport. There were many people oh, to say, welcome, comrades. And many of them saw the enemy because of anything, because of the UN was here already. So it was now peaceful and uh, the... And then we campaigned for elections, and then we won the election. On March 21st, 1990, in the capital, Windhoek, a new national flag was flying in the air. Sam Nujoma was elected the first Namibian president in history. People's Republic of China was the first country to recognize. When we achieved independence, the next day the People's Republic of China was already here, established the embassy. So, and they also supported us financially, because now we took over the government, we had a problem, no, no schools, we were part of the school, no hospital, hospital was white for whites, and, uh, and uh, we had a hospital which we neglected for the, for the Namibians, for indigenous people. So because of apartheid system, uh, the discrimination, so people who said, well, China gave us a lot of assistance. Up to now, we still receive assistance from the people of the Republic of China. We are very grateful for, for that support. As a pioneer of Namibian-Chinese friendship, Sam Nujoma has visited China 20 times since 1964, a country that he considers the most reliable for its support. And I have seen Beijing itself as an example. When we used to arrive at the airport in Beijing, find the small houses, now all of flats and the whole country. It's highly developed. China is it's highly developed than the, the, developed the, world, the developed country of the world. The former president, now 87 years old, is retired, but he still retains fond memories of China and his Chinese friends.